Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the best extension for chat GPT on VS Code. So you see right here, I have this beta extension and I'll show you how to install it. So you're going to click on the extensions button here and uh, search for B beta. All right. So B I T O and you have to install this extension. I already have installed it. So once you install it, you'll have to basically close VS Code and you'll have to restart it. So once you restart VS Code, um, you'll have this extension here. And by the way, this is the chat GPT extension. So when you first install it, you will have to enter your email and then you are going to get a code. You know, you'll have to open your email and then you'll have to copy that code and paste it. You, you got to paste it here. And after that, you'll have to skip like a couple of, of steps and then you'll get to this window. So this is the chat GPT for coding. So this is one of the coolest automation I've ever seen. You know, this is one of the best extensions that I have tested and it's for free. So for example, I'm going to, you know, enter my code here. So I'm going to add the first uh, template for HTML and let me just change it. So let's say that we want to generate a table. All right. So I'm going to change the title here. I'm going to say table and right here in the body, I'm not going to add any code here. I'll ask this extension to generate the code for me. So I'm going to ask here, you know, if you click here, you see it says, ask any technical question. So I'm going to ask it, add an HTML table with styling, with CSS styling, actually. So CSS styling, and you, pr you send your prompt and let's wait for it. So you see the code is being generated and it's amazing. So I'm going to expand the window so we will see what's going on. So you see it's generating the code. It has generated the HTML and now it's working on CSS. This is amazing. And you see all you, all you got to do here is you can copy the HTML. So for example, this is the HTML code. I'm going to click on copy and I'm going to place my table here. All right, so I have the table inside of the HTML and now let's copy the CSS. So I'm going to copy this too. So I'm going to click on this. All right, and I'm going to paste it inside of the head. Oops, so I'll have to include the style tag. So style, and then I'm going to paste the styling. So you see, this is what it has generated for us. So it has generated this table with three columns and uh, this tool is amazing. So it saves you a lot of time, you know, um, you know, I do not have to, I mean, if I were to sit down, it would take me about 10, 15 minutes to generate this table. But this extension is so amazing and I recommend it to everyone. So it's called a beta. All right. So now I'm going to let you use this extension and let me know in the comments about what do you think about it. So is it good or bad? So I will see you all in the next videos. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.